The high-level panel dissected the role of the international financial architecture to accelerate the implementation of the Sustainable Development Goals. President Bumba used the opportunity to share Namibia's portfolio of green hydrogen projects currently under development. The Namibian leader singled out the hyphen hydrogen project as an example in which government has committed to invest in at the southern town of Ludreds. The project intends to produce 2 million tons of green ammonia, which President Bumba said should reduce carbon emissions by 5 to 6 million tons annually. And then we discovered that Germany, Belgium, the Netherlands and other countries around here need green hydrogen. And that's how we came together. We are inviting investors. We have two harbors, Luther's and Wolfers Bay. There are companies that are concentrating in this Wolfers Bay Harbor or Luther's Harbor. And we have attracted bigger company, CMB and other companies from Europe. And we think because of our location, our position, our place in Southern Africa, we will be able to produce enough hydrogen. Out of that, we will benefit by getting enough water, by getting electricity. The work has started already. If you have not joined us, this is the time to do it. Germany is among the countries which have committed to be an off-taker of renewable energy given the energy price crisis because of the Russia-Ukraine conflict. Federal Chancellor Olaf Scholz reiterated the impetus for internationally binding measures on clean energy supplies as well as pioneering alliances. We are the one country that decided to go on hydrogen. Uh, which is important for investments all over the world because if someone is doing this decision in his country if investors are uh, deciding to invest in a country because of the expectations of exporting green hydrogen to industrial countries it is necessary that they have some clarity that there is a customer when they have invested millions or billions into what they are trying to develop and I can assure you, we are one of the countries and we are intensely going into it. We know that uh, for the further development of our industry, uh, electrification is still a big question. And we, we are increasing our production of electricity, though we have a lot. It is about 800 terawatt that we expect for the end of the decade. And it will, I think, go to 1,500 or something like this. Uh, in the time to come because of the industry mostly. In 2022, the International Monetary Fund projected that developing economies would need about 1 trillion US dollars to achieve the net zero targets by the year 2030. Its managing director highlighted that the lessons drawn from the COVID-19 pandemic required that IMF develop crisis responsive funding packages. We work with countries where debt levels are uh, prohi prohibitively high. To rearrange the payment structure to get some debt relief coming their way. We ourselves, the IMF, during COVID, we provided a billion dollars in debt relief to the 29 poorest countries. So the first thing you need to do is say, you are under water, we have to pull yeah. you up. Okay. But then, then comes the second thing. How can we get growth? Because what is the solution to high debt, high growth? The panelists say the hope is that the Hamburg Sustainability Conference, being held a week after the Summit of the Future, would send out a strong message that discussions translate to actions without leaving any country behind. Blanche Corres' NBC News, Hamburg, Germany.